Heavy losses at harvest of corn and palay due to rotting or spoilage have been a major problem among Filipino farmers. During the rainy season harvest, spoilage of corn alone runs from 15 to 25 percent of the grains harvested. This exacts heavy toll on both the farmer's income and our country's reserves. For instance, from 1996 to the year 2000, the Philippines imported corn valued at 10.94 billion pesos, while during the same period, our country lost due to post-harvest spoilage an estimated 14.27 billion pesos worth of corn. The need to develop our locally designed grain dryer that is highly adapted to our local conditions, priced affordably low, and can be operated at low cost, is very much in order. Sidlak Pinoy Incorporated manufactured the Sidlakan dryers as an answer to this age-old drying problem. It is locally fabricated and designed to handle even dripping wet grains. This is because in the Philippines, heavy grain harvests coincide with heavy rainfall. Sidlakan dryers use a state-of-the-art gasifier burner which utilizes farm wastes such as corn cobs, rice hull, cocoa husks, and wood wastes as heat source. Sidlakan dryers also offer the following advantages. The ability of the Sidlakan dryers to dry grains fast reduces the incidence of aflatoxin, a carcinogen, in the dried grains to very insignificant levels. Sidlakan dryers also offer very low drying costs. Studies show that cost of heat using the Sidlakan dryer is only one twentieth than that of dryers using petroleum as heat source. The Sidlakan burner utilizes 20% of the farm wastes in order to dry the grains harvested. This is one of the drying centers with three Sidlakan dryers operating. This center has a combined output of 50 to 60 tons of dried grains per day. This center can serve the drying needs of 250 to 500 hectares of rice land or corn land. Last June 16, 2005, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, together with her government officials, inaugurated the first of such drying centers. Here, President Arroyo is giving approval and endorsing the SAID program. In such occasion, the President was encouraging the local government units to cement further the partnership between the national government and the non-government organizations. She was encouraging the use of similar technologies that would enhance energy independence. Here the President appreciates the fire bricks made out of rice hull ash and silt. These bricks are being used by the Gawad Kalinga in their low-cost housing projects. Here the President is appreciating the engineered bamboo products, another product of Sidlak Pinoy Incorporated.